Hi Desert Hot Springs, Scott Mattis, your mayor, coming to you for the monthly update here, December 2016. Hey, it's been a fantastic year, and it's gone by just so fast. Uh, when I first became mayor, it was a little shaky because the community seemed to be really split in the election, about 50-50. So uh, I really had a lot to prove to individuals that uh, the leadership that I brought to the dais and to our city was going to really uh, make an effect on our community. And I believe we've done that. Our city council, for the most part, is unified. Uh, we do have differences when it comes to politics and we do have differences when it comes to opinions about certain projects But for the most part we're unified and we treat each other with respect, which is something that I wanted to bring back to our city 2016 has been a fantastic year. We've accomplished a lot Sometimes people don't see everything because you can't feel and touch it, but there's been so much done over the last year We've basically unified our message We've uh, hired basically all the new administration here at City Hall, and we're working towards a lot of great things. We've had a lot of planning and infrastructure and parks coming to you. We're in the process of renovating the park just to the north of Julius Corsini School, the Rotary Park, which is in honor of Jack Webb. And this will become a full dog park sometime very, very soon. If you've seen some roads repaired, and you're gonna see some more roads repaired as we receive large grants from the state of California. Uh, Indian Avenue will start soon. So there's a lot of positive things happening here in Desert Hot Springs. But really what I wanted to talk about was uh, the, the older questions that we get all the time. Walmart, Rio Ranch Market, they were in conversation with us for many, many months this year and then the, the conversation just stopped. Walmart's changed its direction. They still own the land. We have no idea whether they're going to build or not. We'll continue to ask the question every other week as I do. I just have not gotten any answers. And with the Rio Ranch uh, selling out to another corporation, again, the same thing. We've kind of come up with a stalemate. This has nothing to do with the city. The city's pushed and wanted these projects in our community. Some of you might be happy about it. Some of you might not be happy about it. But again, your mayor, your city council, and your city administration is working hard to bring you answers. As soon as we get those, we'll bring them back to you. Let's talk about the next year, 2017. We're gonna have at least six to eight town halls in our community next year rather than one big state of the city. We wanna bring you multiple messages throughout the year telling you about projects that are gonna be going on. Our first town hall will be at the Health and Wellness Center sometime in February, we'll announce that in January. And you can come out and basically hear a message from the city uh, and then be able to ask questions and talk to city staff and city council. So look forward to that, that's gonna be important for next year. Uh, our prayers and best wishes go out to Supervisor John Benoit's family. Uh, we know that he's uh, been diagnosed with uh, cancer. We want to make sure that uh, where our prayers are out with him and his family and wish them the best for the holidays. Uh, and with that said, Desert Hot Springs, uh, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, a safe new year, and I'll be back to you in January.